Hey, it's Dee with Mobile Home Flipper. Let's size into one of our homes to kind of see if we're going to do a complete rehab. We do things quite a bit different than if we are going to do just quick touches and put back on the market. Uh, this is a prime example of a complete rehab. In fact, this home sat in a field for about two years. Yeah. So it doesn't look like that anymore, right? <laughs> Uh, there's been a little bit of work, just a little bit of work that's been done. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is paint. Our paint uh, typically is going to be a eggshell satin type of sheen. That's the reflective aspect of it. Bright white. Everything gets blasted that color. Okay. Uh, cabinets are done a different color. Sometimes we use light gray. Sometimes we'll do a darker gray. This actually is a brown gray. It's actually the color co is called ancillary pops really well with our flooring choices that we have so that's another reason why we started using this color we get a lot of people that just love the way it looks and plus also it's modern um, a lot of times we'll paint our cabinets white or install white cabinets so some of our homes you'll see uh, that happening um, these cabinet tops did not have doors so we built those put plexiglass in them and then painted them uh, that was a pretty inexpensive way to be able to make the cabinets still work because they were in good shape. They just didn't have faces on them. And I think it's kind of a cool effect, right? We had plexiglass left over from another project. So it's just, you know, one of those things where you have leftover materials, find good ways, positive ways in which to be able to put it back into your, your, uh, homes, into your rehab. Uh, this top, Formica top, a lot of times your Formica is going to flake off on the edges. We have pine that we put along the edge. Had our painter paint it. Our painter does uses actual cabinet paint. So it's not just latex that's going to flake off, especially if you have uh, like a laminate or a fake uh, 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 basically finish on, on the cabinets. So as you can see, inside outside is done. Same material. We have brushed nickel finishes. Well, we'll do typically a stove. A lot of times a dishwasher, this one we didn't have that budget. We normally will put in a new, more modern faucet. Eight inch deep sink. Uh, you want to make sure it's not real cheap material. Okay. Uh, we also did on this one, brand new furnace. AC unit. Split systems in a lot of cases end up being too expensive. So you have to have to take a look at what your costs are as to whether that's going to make sense or not. Um, this flooring you can get at Home Depot. It's uh, Woodland Mauve, I believe, is the variation on this one. Uh, HSC, I believe, is the company. Uh, 189 to 180 or $1.99 a square foot, so $1.89, $1.89 a square foot, or $1.99 a square foot is what this typically is running. It's a 12 mil layer. I wouldn't go below that, especially if you're going to finance the homes or rent them or rent to own. Just because if you get it back, it's not going to wear well. We typically put in new toilets. We don't do fancy, but we do the chair height as well as elongated if it can fit in the space. Brushed nickel. We painted the countertops or the cabinet. Sorry, left the countertop. Put in a new light fixture. Uh, painted the, the trim around the window or the mirror. And then we, a lot of times your window sills are going to be, end up being pretty gross. So we typically end up using very, very thin pine. Sometimes we'll use some other material, the real, real thin stuff, put it back in there and then put new trim around it, corner on it. And then once it's painted, it's really nice looking at freshens, brightens it up. We did a lot of patchwork on this. In fact, actually we're in the process of, we took out the soaking tub because it was fiberglass and it disintegrated. And unfortunately, the drain was originally over there. We had to move it here. Actually, no, it was here. It was right over there. We had to move it here, and there's a cross member for the steel uh, support for the home right there. So that's why we had to raise it up. My, not my preference, but it is what we needed to do for this scenario. We always put in Moen faucets as well as also uh, valves. So all of our valves typically are going to be Moen pieces. We're waiting for the surround. This one was 59, so it's a custom order. So be aware of that when you're starting your project. Um, we also always check and make sure that we have working, functioning 
uh, switches, switch plates, outlets, things like that. Um, a lot of times they'll be yellow. In fact, a lot of these were yellow. We used appliance paint to clean those up and then also installed a GFI, as you can see with water. Um, as far as the bedrooms go, just made sure that we cleaned up all the drywall in it, cleaned up ceilings. Uh, the flooring carpet, uh, we get pretty thick pad. It's going to be cheaper for you to do thicker pad than the carpet because the carpet doesn't wear normally very well unless you have a good pad under it. So my recommendation is, you know, carpet that's probably, it's not the, the lowest grade, uh, but it's maybe one or two above that. This stuff typically has black, dark brown, darker tan, cream, and I believe gray in it. And it, it hides dirt really, really well. And as you can see, it looks pretty good uh, within the home. We also will do what we call LED recess lights. They're typically pretty thin profile. It's not like the old school ones. Tuck them back up in there. They're pretty easy to install. And then we also have ones that are... Um, the ones that we typically choose are the ones that have the multiple changes. So you can have more of a warm light, brighter light, things like that. So people can, can change it if they want to. Um, bathroom, cabinetry. So this was made and those were in place. Doesn't look too bad, consider it, right? Opens up and see storage in there. Uh, a lot of times your fiberglass sinks need to be coming out because they're destroyed, damaged cracked, nicked, dinged, just garbage. Put a porcelain one in, brush nickel faucet, go along with your fixtures. Whoops, we didn't secure that right. Um, toilet was new. We put in, I don't like fiberglass tubs because that's what we took out of here because it was all broken up and garbage and leaking. So we do typically your boots type of uh, steel with porcelain cased. Um, they typically are anywhere between $209 to up to 300 bucks. And then we have our surrounds. It's a pretty decent um, surround as far as thickness. It's not the cheap, 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 cheap stuff that if somebody holds on to this, they're not going to crack it as easily. There are variations of fiberglass surrounds that are super, super cheap. Um, depends on what your budget is, but I don't recommend it, especially if you're planning on getting home back. This one we had to modify. We had to nick down off of that to be able to make sure that the window could be in place as well. So this gives you kind of a high level as to some of the typical finishes, products, materials that we typically put into the interior of our complete rehabs.